Okay. <clears throat> um, today our topic is genre painting in Korea and Korean art's relationship to Chinese art. It is a um, continuation of our narrative figure painting in, in Korean art. And I will explain more in depth about some aspects of Korean art and genre painting in Korea. I have researched genre painting more in depth and I would like to present what I have found. Um, um, Korean art took on depicting Buddhism and this is an influence of Chinese art. A general characteristic of Korean art was simplicity. It was simplicity applied to decorative devices and motifs. Also, the quality of the line was important. For example, lines with extreme straightness or extreme curves were rarely seen. Korean artists avoided all bold lines, sharp angles, and steeply angled planes. There is also a subtle inner harmony in Korean art. China's influence can be seen in the Bronze Age and in the Han Dynasty too. For example, in during this time, uh, Chinese pottery and bronze sculpture and metalwork were brought to Korea. Uh, something interesting happened during the Three Kingdoms period. The Three Kingdoms period was from 57 BC to 669 CE. The country of Korea was ruled by three monarchies the Goguryeo Kingdom, which had links to Northern China, the Big J Kingdom, whose court was friendly with Southern China, and the Shila Kingdom. Also, the Big J and Shila courts developed strong ties with Japan. During this time, it was the time of the introduction of Buddhism into the Goguryeo kingdom from China. This happened around 372 CE. By the sixth century, Buddhism became the national faith in Korea. And from then to the 15th century, it provided nearly all the most important themes in Korean art. It is interesting that in Korean sculpture, the Buddha's face tends to be rounder and more expressive than in other Asian art. And this is called the Big J smile. Also during this time in the Three Kingdoms period, calligraphy was introduced to Korea. The Shila period was the golden age of ancient Korean art. During the Shila period, the Big J and Goguryeo kingdoms were conquered by the Shila ruler. Korean scholars and Buddhist monks would travel to China and the Korean city of Gongju was being modeled after the Tang capital of Chang'an. In this time and onward, Southeast Korea became the cultural center of the country. And at this time, Buddhism had a renaissance. Temples and pagodas were built. Um, during the Goryeo dynasty, Korea became known to the Western world.
During this period also, Chinese painters were invited to Korea and many Buddhist artworks were created during this period. Um, as for genre painting in Korea, there are two kinds. One was sponsored by the state to visually represent the customs and culture of the Chosun dynasty, Chosun society, and was given to foreign dignitaries as gifts. And the second kind was to portray the daily activities of everyday communities. In fact, in the first style, these paintings were often given to the uh, given to Chinese government. Also, the first style would portray um, in Korean Yangban or an English uh, ruling elite life. Um, genre painting developed in Korea in the Chosun period or from 1392 to 1910. The second type of everyday life developed slightly later in the 17th century. <clears throat> Genre painting developed more and matured in the 18th century, and artists such as Kim Hong Do elevated the position of genre painting within the canon of art. He also perfected genre painting about the works before Kim Hong Do. Uh, it is interesting to note that the literati or the elite class that was looking at these paintings wanted to refrain from showing emotion on their faces. Kim Hong Do changed this. He painted ordinary people um, freely showing emotion. And I mainly uh, kept the images I showed last time. Mm. I thought that someone else would come. That's uh, fine. But um, what's next? You want to... Yeah, so like last time, the, the two main Korean artists doing genre painting were named Kim Hongdo mm -hmm. and uh, Shin Yun Bok. And Do you want to talk more than what you did last time? Oh, yeah, I have the folder here. Uh, no, I mean, you want to continue your, your lecture by talking about what like uh, the painting or your technique I forget okay yeah I want to um I wanted to demonstrate painting one of these paintings because mm -hmm. the, um, the name of my event is um um, Korean folk discussion with the, the techniques. Yeah, I guess I'll I'll start here. This screen. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me turn it off. Okay, I got it now. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, I have the live stream. <laughs> so I wanted to uh, demonstrate the painting, the mm -hmm. Korean genre painting. Um, um, yeah, to, well, to begin the tutorial, it is interesting to note that there are different hairstyles in um, genre painting. What style you were saying? I didn't hear. You. Uh, different hairstyles. Hair. Oh. Uh, I want to show okay. something else. I. Um, uh, I just created the. Uh, newer work. I created three more paintings here. Mm -hmm. and I can't see it. Mm. Oh. Oh, here, here, I saw it. Okay, good, good. Uh, so you can see they kind of have different hairstyles. And. Yeah, but are you talking about the, 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 style of the figures or the technique. I thought you were talking about Korean art, the co Korean painting techniques. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, you're talking about lifestyles. Oh. Uh, hair, hair style. Hair styles. Okay. Yeah. I what do you want to demonstrate? I thought you were demonstrating oh. the paintings. Um, I just wanted to demonstrate um, how I paint it. So I, I guess I not very, I don't really know how to teach it. That's fine, but I, I'm not clear. You're teaching the, the painting techniques or you want to discuss uh, some specific hairstyles, so you have to use special technique to paint the hairstyles. Oh. Is that what you are trying to say, or I'm not clear. Or, yeah. um. or general, the paint, uh, Korean painting style, which is, you, you, as your introduction said, introduced maybe some Chinese influence and then they have their unique thing, how to achieve their, you know, how many scenes there or whatever. I'll just show you how I paint the eyes. So uh, here's the eyebrow and um the eye is very um delicate and very um subtle looking i don't <laughs> i don't know how to teach it. by brush or by pencil i can't see clearly uh, it's a tiny paint brush a paint brush yeah uh And the hair usually looks like like that, like um, um, very neat. Uh, yeah, the name of this event is Korean Folk Painting Demonstration. So I want to show how to do that yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so they are typically a, a a painting with many figures so the figures have a smaller uh, 
sizes you have to use small brushes and so it's a subtle is that what are you trying to say uh yeah okay um yeah i don't i don't really know how to teach it i was just thinking that it uh demonstration of how you do it just by action that's fine oh, okay yeah, yeah yeah i i really like how the 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 hairstyle just makes you think it's an iconic hairstyle and when you see so it, Korean women neatness and cleanness and uh, harmonic uh, and then calm peaceful characteristics. Oh, I it, it, yeah, and I mean, when you see it, you would recognize that that's it's, Korean women, yeah, 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 from the hair, yeah, yeah. And so it's important to paint it well, which reflects the points that you were saying, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For example, you don't demonstrate how to dress the uh, outfit, the skirts or something. This time, maybe you focus on hair or you want to? Oh, yeah. Focus on hair. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the that's a braid, a pins. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are the darker um, marks their hair or additional, like um, dress, hair, hair oh. items? Oh, yeah. They wear the hand box mm. and um, actually I'm not very good at composing drawings either. I Oh, you are just drawing arbitrarily from your mind a, a kind of maybe. Yeah. Well, you can paint someone uh, based on some other painting. Oh, okay. You don't have to make up your own. Okay. You're showing your technique, right? Okay. You can say, if I want to mimic this lady in that painting, which I think is really painted well, I would do this. And that's how you can make the hair painted very neatly, something like that, right? Okay. I mean, I expect if you want to teach somebody about something, you have to make clear what is that something you want oh. to emphasize, right? Okay, yeah. And what is the most important thing in achieving your goal if somebody say, I want to paint well about hair, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I do wish I knew how to compose it better because 
in my paintings, there's they just seem to be a lot of people, but um, yeah, just I don't know how to compose it that way. That's why you have to prepare your lecture. Oh. Yeah, if you want to use, say, half hour to to show in action uh -huh. how many people you are planning on this piece of paper you want to paint uh -huh. and how the composition roughly, right? Okay. And, and you have to have a thought before you teach. I'm okay. say, not saying uh, I tell you how to teach i'm just saying it's general because there's no other audience so i'm we are oh. talking together okay. here just to discuss how to best use your time and oh, make your lecture uh, effective okay you have to make a plan like my yoga teacher she will have to plan okay in this hour kaylin she wants to teach us few things and how long each thing will take and then how she can show us, right? Okay. Oh, okay. And if you don't plan, just let it go. It can be longer, shorter, that's fine. But the oh. more effective lecture, especially teaching somebody, not just presenting something. Oh, sure. It, it, oh. It's different, right? It, then okay. you just like, present your thing. Yeah. But even presentation, you need to plan how much time you want to convince people about one thing or just to, uh, you know, show people something. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um. Yeah, but do you think you want to say something about Korean painting technique that's rather different from Chinese so people can can understand why you want to show Korean painting um, techniques, especially reflect in their hair or what? Why, um, why if they, you know, I'm Chinese painter, suppose I am and I never know much about Korean painting and so I want to see what's something different. Okay. Do I see differences? Uh -huh. or, yeah. This is a lot for you to claim a topic that's worth discussing or teaching, right? Okay. So first, what is that about? Second, why it is so important or so good or so different from oh. other similar things, right? Okay. And it makes the point why you pick that topic to teach, right? Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I read that um, Korean painting borrows from Chinese and Japanese mm. painting, but I'm not sure how it, um, yeah. And it also said Korean painting developed its own unique style to right you have to catch what's the most distinct thing rather than i mean rather different from japanese or uh, chinese similar painting styles or something yeah okay otherwise they all think oh that's chinese ink using chinese brushes and uh, they look similar right to the outsider i mean oh. or don't know i you know i'm still not clear technically how special the per, per korean paintings are made i noticed the painting figure i mean the figures or the sceneries the cultures the items in there it's different of course the korean life right oh. I mean, earlier and then the general harmonic or peaceful theme or happy life, you know, daily life, they paint. Oh. You can see that's probably different from Chinese, you know, mountains and trees, oh. you know, birds or something. 
but Chinese painting do have a lot of uh, early painting about ordinary lives as well, but they usually try to, I mean, more dominant maybe the mountains, trees in the early time or the rocks, you know. The, okay. Yeah, but something, or if you want to compare Korean people life and Japanese people life in their paintings, well, Japanese painting has their unique thing too, right? Okay, maybe I we know more about Japanese painting than Korea. Korea especially, we don't know too much about it, oh. right? The painting. Okay. No, a little bit, but we don't see as often as we could see in Japanese oh. arts. Japanese arts music or, or paintings are studied more by the Western people than Korean, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, Western people study a lot about Japanese paintings. Uh -huh. um, so Western people have seen Japanese painting more than they have seen Korean paintings, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, but it was you who picked the Korean pin, uh, paintings as a subject to discuss or to teach. Uh -huh. Then you you would show people why this is so interesting besides okay. Chinese painting, Japanese painting. It end up you have to study a lot what is different yourself, right? Okay. okay. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, maybe I'll paint the, the, the iconic, um, uh, the iconic hat. I mean, the men have the iconic hat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, I I like to paint women more. But yeah. Maybe I'll paint one more person. <laughs> Next time, maybe you should shoot your camera from left. Uh, from so left? People can see. Most of the time, your oh, right, right. hand is blocking what you're oh. painting. So if you want to show how you paint, you have to let people see, right? Oh, let's see. <laughs> Like, yeah. like this. Oh, maybe like this. Yeah, that's better. Um, <laughs> and I, I try to study the images online but i i have a hard time zooming in on the eyes so i'm not sure how they painted the eyes and what i paint is the thin thin um, eyelash line and the the eye itself. I can, I can see somewhat, even not with a sharp resolution. I know your action at least, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. thanks. The other strokes and then, you know, the, the lightness or heaviness when you, you know, try to. Okay, thank you. But do you ever change a different size of the brushes? Oh, or right. Just use one. I usually use maybe two. Um, mm. Yeah, these are part of teaching. You teach the technique. People will say, oh, maybe for a larger area of ink, do you use bigger one or? Mm. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, the hair looks like that. Is that flat brush or also point? Uh, Point. Kind of pointy. Brush. Are they just watercolor brushes? Or? Yeah. 
something special. Okay. Yeah, watercolor. They are all like watercolor paper, watercolor brushes, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But the ink is not watercolor black. It's um, just not the ink. I understand. Yeah, we you talk about that. Oh, uh, it's called. Yeah. I know. I have the same thing. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, cool. This is it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have it. <laughs> Yeah, that's the exact same one. Yeah, last time like, when you say I saw it, that's my but um, I I also have other stuff. Yeah. Okay. So the hair, I would I don't know the original painting is pretty uniform in terms of the, the darkness, greenness. Oh, well the second uh, one you just paint. Oh right. I I did that uh, randomly. Yeah, um, and then you did more, uh, you would do more on top of the wall. Uh, Are there a lot of uh, black uh, paintings in Korea or they are colored? Oh. Yeah, they're usually colored. Yeah, mm. I mine is you painted paint the, the the black. I know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks. Yeah, maybe I should. Do you have a like a plate? What do you call it? Oh. Uh, the, that you have different yeah. uh, uh, mixing area board. of uh, darkness or oh no or yeah. you just use yeah I guess just so. randomly use uh, more water just dig into more or something yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah that's a good idea too you might have a very dark and medium that several and then you if you you still can vary but Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I should yeah, get the mixing. I noticed you never painted very dark uh, ink. Or, uh, you know, yeah. But is it because Korean paintings are like that, or it's just you? Oh, it's just me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I I just want to make sure because I don't see. But I I did see some current paintings and they they were not necessarily like the one you painted, but I, I only see a limited number of current paintings. <laughs> so oh. I don't that's why I asked. Oh thanks. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, I oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, maybe I should research more about the techniques. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's done. And I want to, um, yeah, there's a tip with the watercolor paper, you can erase it too. Is this second figure the hair? Uh -huh. They were just 
weave the hairstyle or they were bundled with different braid braiding? Oh, uh, it's like a puffy hairstyle. Puffy, okay. It's just like a, they rolled it. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh, like the hairdressing thing. Yeah. You know, some Chinese traditional they 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 were not puffy, but they were specially combed a certain ways, you know. Oh, like, really? Yeah, shaped the some shape, yeah. And they would have something come out. <laughs> oh cool. Mm -hmm. uh. But how did they puff their hair in the old oh, time? I'm not sure. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Did you show your uh, painting about Korean women to your church friends? Who oh. Are Korean? oh, no, maybe I should show her my pastor. Please, please. A pastor, what is it? Pastor? Pastor, she, she's, she's Korean, right? Yeah. Does she know art, about art a lot? Or? Uh, I'm not sure she does a little graphic design, but um, oh, she also did practice. Uh, oh no, she only tries to design some some messages to post. Oh, oh for for the posting thing, yeah. Yeah, but, but yeah. Church. Church schedule or program, this kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I don't. Have you ever talk with your Korean friend using Korean? Uh, yeah, actually, my pastor tried teaching me Korean, so mm. I talk. With Sometimes him. try to talk. Yeah. Yeah. How how much can you talk in Korean? Like how fluent? Oh, I'm very basic level. Yeah, but that's a lot <laughs> to, to most people. They don't know. You can talk in French more free, uh, fluently than Korean, of course, um, right? Yeah. Because you are a French major, yeah, you spend more time. Or, Okay, thanks. You know more of the cavalries for sure, and you practiced more and you studied. But Korean, to some people, they never know anything, right? <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Yeah, see, I wanted to learn Korean too. Uh, yeah, I also know some Russian. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just a little. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I don't know how to teach. <laughs> I thought I, I, like just... I like them. Yeah, okay. I, at least I know how you put those figures on the paper. <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah. At least, at least I know how you hold the uh, brush. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, it's a very small brush. I. I got it on Amazon. Do you know Chinese hold their brush in a certain way, at least when they write calligraphy that way? Oh, yeah. yeah. And then when they paint, they they use all sorts of way, but probably all around the calligraphy way. Mm -hmm. OK. When they yeah, paint, that, that's but that's yeah, Chinese that's brush. It's different from, yeah, but it's different from the watercolor brush. Okay. Chinese brass um, is a lot softer. Yeah. Oh, right. Mm. 
Okay. Yeah. And did, did uh, your teacher, I remember the watercolor teacher told us to buy, to buy a bunch of watercolor brushes. She always said, buy one, I forgot the name, sue me or so, something. Oh. <laughs> she said that's for Japanese, Chinese, uh, whatever. <laughs> I think it's close to Chinese brush, something like that. I forgot the name, I forget. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm not sure. Is it semi um, a paper kind, a kind of paper? Uh, yeah, maybe she was saying for the brush is for painting that kind of uh, okay. painting. That's, that's the semi paper similar to Chinese art, right? Okay. The the painting paper, it's absorbing and then. Uh, oh, should I look it up? Sumi paper or painting? Uh, oh, yeah. paint brush. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. She always. Yeah, that's for Sumi painting. That's like Chinese. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. But watercolor brushes are stiffer, I mean, harder, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. So yeah. You can control the thickness of your stroke um, more, I mean, I don't know, with the Sumi brushes, things like that. You can just oh. use more and then lift it up and then it changes the the width of your stroke right rather than watercolor in the brushes they give you pretty uniform uh width of depending on how you do it, you can vary that too i know yeah okay thank you Do you want to show other things? It's almost three o'clock. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, not not really. Yeah, okay. I'm just trying to demonstrate it. But That's yeah. good. Thank you. Yeah. So if you want to teach, you would demonstrate. It takes a lot for you to prepare. You can oh, tell because people you. would ask you all sorts of questions, right? Why oh, do you really. think uh, that? better way or what you know okay. yeah you have to think what people can learn from you uh -huh. right yeah Thanks. they are not necessarily very very uh, 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 pr primitive beginners they might know something already they just feel interesting what's Korean way you know <laughs> oh, okay Okay. Are you at home or in San Francisco? Uh, uh, mom's home. Yeah. Uh, that's your room? No, it's the... Uh, downstairs. Yeah, downstairs. Oh, cool. Is Xian there watching you? Uh, no, <laughs> she's in her room. Oh, this is the, the glassy table ne next to oh, the... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, thanks. Yeah. Thank thanks you for, for, for making effort to make your uh, lectures. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, it's good. I mean, you you learn a lot yourself too, and then you know how to continue and how to learn from others, and yeah, a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you you learn a lot how to organize your stuff. You know, uh, with the time time. You know measure like how much I want to deliver certain information and then teach effectively. That takes a lot. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Maybe you can remember how your professors taught, you know, oh. while you were taking classes and thinking, oh, that's why they did this way, that way, you know. Okay. When you prepare your lecture or demonstration. Okay. Thank you. Mm.
Should I? Are you going to pursue Korean painting more or or deeply into some? Uh, yeah, I do like it a lot, and mm -hmm. I want to. Yeah, I think I want to keep trying to make. But why? But are you going to later paint in their style, or you want to create your own artwork? Uh, um, just using the style or you want to express your understanding of their life or uh, yeah mainly I just like the the aesthetic style but, mm -hmm. um, you just feel comfortable you know looking at these paintings and painting those paintings yourself oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and but if, when you want to teach, you you really do want to tell people why it is different from other. So you 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 are drawn into it, not into Japanese painting or Chinese painting, right? Okay. Because they look similar, right? Okay. I mean, roughly, to the rough approximation they all look like an ink paintings yeah okay mm. thank you uh, okay. Right. stop the clip